What I think it is? It is! <gasps> oh, way, hey! The coolest computer game console ever! It's not even out till next week. Father knows the boss at the Way Hey factory. <laughs> it's here in Beano Town, you know. Yeah, I took the factory tour. They've got demo models. It's ace. How about giving them a game? All right, but let's make it interesting. Anyone I beat has to come to after school club with us. Oh, yes, it's fun. Uh, we're doing form filling today <laughs> and tidying. And cooking. Yikes. They should call it worse than school club. As long as you win, you've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Press play, Walter. Please, please, please. OK. The game's Rock Guitar Legend. You sure? I always win at Rock Guitar Legend. Absolutely. Here goes. I input the game code and Rock Guitar Legend becomes Air Violin Legend. <laughs> What's the game this time? Boogie Breakdown Dance Master. Oh, my favourite! <laughs> I didn't know he could moonwalk. I win again. Easy when you know the dancers that score the most points. <laughs> How do you know that? Why you're so good, you turn games into homework. Are you talking or playing, Dennis? Or have you just turned chicken? <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, Walter. Let's make this really interesting. If I win, Pie Face and Curly go free. If I lose, I'll go for the rest of the year. <laughs> But I should be allowed to do some homework, too. Lend me a manual and I'll meet you at After School Club. Unless you're chicken, of course. <laughs> I don't know. It's a deal. But if you don't show up, the whole of Beano Town will know you're chicken. <laughs> It's just buying time. The factory's in Beano Town, right? <laughs> if I can sneak some practice time on a demo model, I'll have a chance of beating Walter. Huh? It's a long shot, but I can't let Curly and Pie Face down. Let's get on the next factory tour. <laughs> Welcome to After School Club. First, form filling. Every good citizen should be able to complete a form neatly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> As you can see, the factory is fitted with the latest high tech security. What about the way, hey? Are you going to show us a way, hey? And to protect the delicate machinery, a super advanced climate control system. I heard you've got demo models! Indeed. Here is the very first demo model of the way, hey. Anybody mind if I have first go? <laughs> this model is for display only. This is no good! We've got to get our hands on a way, hey! Hmm... A good citizen! 
Jason's home is a dust-free home. This is where they make the way here. There's got to be a finished one in here somewhere. system alerted us the moment you entered an unauthorized area. Your every move was monitored and analyzed. We were impressed. Very impressed. Y you were? Yes. I just want to ask you one question. How would you like to star in our next game? Our top designer has been working flat out, creating the environment and characters based on your special moves. <laughs> we, we thought we'd call the game Grand Dinismo. <laughs> Excellent! And I'll give it a live test! If you want to join After School Club, you'll have to come back next week. He'll be here, Mrs Creature. I'm about to make sure of it. What's it going to be, Dennis? Rock guitar legend? Boogie Breakdown Dance Master? Grand Dennis Mo! Huh? I'll take you all on! Ready? Game on! Dennis must want to come to After School Club forever! Tell us what to do, Walter! I will thrash him! Uh, uh, I don't know what to do! I've never seen this game before! <laughs> Laundry 
not a tent. If you want to go camping, Dad will take you. Won't you, dear? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, oh. Yahoo! Nasha, we're going camping! Yes, yes. Fit. I used to be top scout in the Beano Town Wolf Pack, you know. Yay! Camping is going to be so cool! So, what did you do in the Beano Town Wolf Pack, Dad? It was brilliant, Dennis. Living outdoors, finding our own food, recognizing all the different plants and animals. <gasps> really? What's this called? Oh, well, that's a. Uh, uh, that, that, that's a rare specimen, actually. Uh, let, let me What's think. that tree called? Yeah. And that bird? What well, kind of grass is this? What's that, Dad? Stinging nettles? Funny, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, look what you've done to my bivouac. Your bivouac? A bivouac is a shelter made from branches, leaves and moss. Oh, I thought it was just a funny-looking tent. Tents are for softies. I made that myself. Name's Tough. Terry Tough. Well, it couldn't have been much good if it broke so easily. Bet my dad could build a better one. Oh, you think so? Yeah, he knows all about that outdoorsy stuff. He was top scout in the Beano Town Wolf Pack. Was he now? I suppose you're an expert at bivy building then. Absolutely. Possibly. Uh, I might have missed that meeting. But, Dad, I, I thought you said... But, yes, I do know a thing or two about the great outdoors. Go on, Dad, you tell him. Really? So, you wouldn't mind proving that then? <laughs> Not at all. This your tent? Yes, but I... Now, put it back up. I'll build a new bivouac. See who's quickest. <laughs> Looks like one nil to tough, Nasha. <laughs> now, let's see how good you are at fire lighting, eh? Oh. <laughs> it's hard work, this. Of course, you know how to make herbal tea. I think Dad might have been exaggerating the whole Top Scout thing. <coughs> Not at all. In fact, I'm just getting warmed up. What's next? Way to go, Dad. You tell him. What's next? Oh, I think I've got just the thing. Bring it on. That's Mount Beano. First one to the top and back is the best outdoorsman. Agreed? Agreed! And one other thing. The loser leaves the campsite and never comes back. Well, if that's how you want it, fine. Are you sure you need all this stuff, Dad? <sighs> A Beano Town wolf cub should be prepared for anything. <laughs> See you later. Don't get lost. Wow, he's fast. Dad, we'd better get moving if we want to keep up. Dad? Just checking the direction, Dennis. Now, was it the wet finger into the wind means north? Or... Let's just head for Mount Beano. Or was it see which way the grass blows and divide by the angle of the sun? I can't remember. 
Oh, well, uh, let me think. <laughs> that? <laughs> oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, 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 oh back off, Billy. Oh, ah, oh, oh. Ah, oh, 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 oh. Gives me an idea, though. I don't believe it. They're gaining on me. <laughs> but if something was to slow them down, by accident, of course. Ugh. Oh, I'm suddenly very tired. Must be the mountain air. Goodness, was that me? Oops. <laughs> it didn't look so high from down there. Come on, Dad. We're almost at the top. Just don't look down. You're right, Dennis. Don't look down. Mustn't look down. Oh, Dad! <laughs> By now. Get off. <laughs> Looks like the outdoor life isn't for everyone. Help! 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 Oh, I don't believe it, Nash. 
Fletcher. The tickets for the wrestling tonight are way out of my allowance range. Oh, we're going to miss the Mr. Magnifico fight. Mr. Magnifico? Is that an animal, vegetable or mineral? Definitely animal. Oh, Mum, he's the best wrestler in the tag team universe. Pie Face and Curly are going. Could I have an advance on me allowance to get a ticket too? Please. <sighs> Dad? How much are these tickets? Uh, they're only... How much? But it's a once-in-a-lifetime chance to... The answer's no, Dennis. N-O spells no. Oh, come on, Nasher. It's not fair, Nasher. Everyone's going to see Mr Magnifico wrestle tonight. Including me. What? You? Yes. It's the perfect place to try out my new moves. <gasps> you? Have moves? First aid moves. I'm a bandage master. Ha! First class. <laughs> bandage. I knew you couldn't be a wrestling fan. Wrestling? <laughs> Certainly not. I shall be attending in my capacity of junior first aider. With your mum. <gasps> mum? Why didn't she say something? I've only just heard myself. These are the backstage passes from First Aid HQ. Brilliant! Looks like we're going nowhere! These are for First Aid badge holders only. But what? Where do I get a First Aid badge? You don't just get a badge, silly. You have to earn it by passing your First Aid test. Test? OK, I'll do it. I mean... How hard can it be? <laughs> Dennis volunteering to take a test? This I've got to see. So, down to business. When, where and who's the judge? That will be me. <laughs> you? Oh, come on, Nasha. We'd better get some practice in. <laughs> ah, there. That's our studying over. Let's go get that. Shall we begin? Dennis? One needs a basic knowledge of anatomy to pass this test. Can you point to the pelvic yeah. bone? There. The pelvis has left the building. <laughs> well done, Dennis. Thank you very much. Everyone's entitled to one lucky guess. OK. Where's the clavicle? The radius? The carpal? The metatarsals? The... Hey! Where's the skull? I think that's enough academic testing for today, Walter. Let's move on to the practical tests. Did you learn all that at school? <laughs> no, Dad. Living with a bone magnet like Nasha, you can't help learn a lot about bones. <laughs> Let's see how good you are at dealing with a practical test. Bring it on! You stand in as the patient. Me? But I just... My... Oh, all right. OK, Dennis. Let's imagine the patient has sprained his ankle. What do you do? I know what to do, Mum. Lots of kids get sprained ankles in football practice. Especially when you're playing. OK, Dad. Time to elevate your foot. And... Apply a cold compress. Coming right up, Nasha. Ouch! Ouch! Frozen fish. Frozen sausages. <laughs> Frozen chips. That should be enough now, Nasha. Let's go. All done. Thanks to you, Nasha. Hey, where's Nasha? Where do you think? <laughs> is suffering from heat stroke. 
What do you do to help? Uh, cool him down? Well done. Yes, but how exactly? Easy! Nasha, jumper! <laughs> Remove excess clothing. And douse with water to cool. That's <laughs> freezing! Job done. Uh, hmm. He appears to have fainted. Fainted? We must get the blood flowing back to his head. <laughs> I'm on it, Mum. Dennis, Walter's marking the test, not me. You mean I really failed? Unless you can prove to Walter that your bandage techniques are good enough. Yes. I'll be ready to go to the wrestling right after tea. Here's your pass. Thank you, Walter. Remember, practice makes perfect. <laughs> Come on, Nasha. We've got some serious practicing to do. Hey! What about me? Oh. <laughs> Coast clear, Nasha. <laughs> right, Nasha. Time for the first aid showdown. Right. Earplugs to drown out all the screaming and shouting. Extra safety pins, extra plasters, extra strong smelling salts. I understand the ringside can get a bit hot and bothered. <laughs> Phew! It's showdown time, Walter. Meet the fastest bandager in the West. <laughs> If I win, I get my badge. And if you lose, I won't. Huh. We'll see about that. Hmm. Not bad for a beginner. <laughs> <laughs> Beat that! I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> now that's what I call good bandage technique. I reckon I'd pass now, don't you, Walter? <laughs> all right, all right. You pass the test. You get your badge. Yahoo! Mr. Magnifico, here we come! What about me? Eyes on the audience, not the entertainment, Dennis. Remember, we're here to watch the crowd, not the wrestling. No! No wonder they let us in for free. What a disaster! We've got ringside seats and I can't even watch my hero wrestle. <laughs> uh, sorry, kid. Uh, no problem, <laughs> Mr. Magnifico. Uh, payback time! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
Hello, Gran. Hello, Dennis. <laughs> Nip is competing in the big dog show in the park. You want to enter Nasha too? I don't know, Gran. Dog shows aren't really Nasha's thing. <laughs> There'll be lots of other dogs there. <coughs> nah, he still doesn't fancy it. It's sponsored by Butch Butcher. There's a load of sausages for the winner. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a yes, then. <laughs> what are you doing here, Dennis? This is the competitor's entrance. Yeah, so? Well, I hardly think your mouse is fit to compete. <laughs> All this other mongrel. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, check these out. Official entry forms for Nasha and Nipper. <sighs> Honestly, they're letting in any old riff-raff these days. Now that's more like it. Look at Miss Miniwoof. Just the kind of classy dog we want in the show. Uh, hello, Miss Miniwolf. <laughs> oh, Walter, can't you get rid of those creatures? Cheek, who do they think they are? Exactly. Oh, come on, Walter, let us in. I suppose I'll have to, but keep those two away from the other pedigree contestants. We don't want them all catching fleas. Ladies and gentlemen, we come to the talent section of the show to be judged by the Mayor, Mrs. Creature, and of course our sponsor, Butch Butcher, purveyor of Beano Town's finest sausages. Please welcome our first competitor, Mrs. Bonzilla Barkington Wagstaff and Los Chihuahuas Bonzilleros. <laughs> Right, Nasha and Nipper. Talent? Ooh, let me see. Uh, dirt magnets? <laughs> <laughs> They've got plenty of talent. They're going to wipe the floor with the other dogs. <laughs> Judging by their appearance, it looks as if you've wiped the floor with them. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the way they look. Hmm, well, it's my job to marshal the contestants. Any infringement of the rules by these two, and they'll be out! Los Chihuahuas Bancileros, ladies and gentlemen. They scored nine out of ten for pedigree in the first round. And I'd give them at least eight for originality. Don't you think, Mr Butcher? Oh, um, uh, I think they must have been too small to see. That's what chihuahuas are, Mr Butcher. Very small. No, I mean, uh, I've lost my glasses. Oh, uh, I had them a minute ago. Good luck, Athena. And you, Miss Miniwolf. I hope you win. And now the height of fashion, Athena Kane and Miss Miniwolf. Very stylish, I think you'll agree. Wow, major talent. They can both walk without falling over. <laughs> Miss Mini Wolf scored nine for pedigree. I'll uh, I'll give her six for talent. And switch. <laughs> what Nasha? That's awesome. <laughs> Standing on hind legs. Hmm, I'm not sure that's allowed. <laughs> Oh, give it a rest, Walter. I'm keeping an eye on you. I loved your act, Athena. So chic. <laughs> Don't worry, Nasha. We'll show those snooty dog owners a thing or two. <laughs> Say hello to Beano Town's favourite policeman, Sergeant Slipper, and his canine cop, Biter. Biter is a highly trained law enforcement specialist. <laughs> at, uh, at the north end of the field, you will see Constable Cough Drop. <laughs> <laughs> 
posing as a dangerous uh, criminal perpetrator type villain. Now, watch as Biter makes the arrest. Go, boy! Apprehend that suspicious person. <laughs> Oh, oh, she's the perpetrator. <laughs> Even you're more obedient than Biter. <laughs> Pedigree was in order, but zero for talent, I think. No, I, 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 I didn't really get a good look. Um, oh. That's because you were facing the wrong way, Mr. Butcher. And now our final competitors, Nipper and uh, Nasha. <laughs> They'll probably just be chasing their own tails. <laughs> Good luck, boys. Think of the sausages. <laughs> well, Gran, if you ask me, Nasha and Nipper have the talent show in the bag. Oh, oh my goodness! Those beastly creatures might actually win! <sighs> There must be some rule against motorbike riding. Uh, oh, yes. Marvellous idea, Athena. By gosh, I, I do I do believe you're right. That motorised vehicle is exceeding the speed limit. Biter, arrest those lawbreakers. <laughs> This is not good, Gran. Not good at all, Dennis. <gasps> My poor little babies! <laughs> I knew you'd make a mockery of everything. You and your scruffy mutt! Chill out, Walter. It's only a dog show. Yes. Well, all the other dogs have got proper pedigrees. So luckily, you've got no chance of winning. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to present the Best in Show trophy, which has been kindly presented by Mr Butch Butcher. Oh, I wish I had my glasses. Oh. Here they are, Mr. Butcher. Remember, best in show goes to the dog with most points for talent and pedigree. Under consideration are... Police Dog Biter, Los Chihuahuas Bouncy Leros, Nasher and Nipper, and finally, Miss Miniwolf. And the winner is... Miss Miniwolf! <laughs> I knew you would do it, my poochie witchy. Oh. class of dog. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. Uh, now I've found my glasses, I can see the entry form. Uh, it says here that Nasha is an Abyssinian wire-haired tripe hound. Really? A tripe hound? The rarest breed of all? Well, that's different. Uh, bring your dog up here, boy. What? Why is that different? If you groomed your dog up occasionally, we would have seen he's a very special breed. Of course he's special. He's my best mate. But that dog has no talent. Well, uh, not just your best uh, mate, but also I'm delighted to announce he's the best in show. <laughs> this is an Rage. Come on, sweetie. We don't need this stupid dog show anyway. I don't believe it. This has to be some kind of mistake. Result, Nasha. You rule. <laughs> <laughs> Pay 
attention, class. Today we're visiting an important archaeological site where traces of the lost tribe of Beano Town have been found. How exciting! I could be descended from a mighty warrior! Mmm, lemon drops. <laughs> I don't know about a mighty warrior, Walter. <laughs> but those lemon drops are pretty fierce. My organic citrus fizzers are meant to be savoured, Dennis, not guzzled. in bones, you see, and... Oh, never mind. We'll discuss it later. Uh, you were saying? Yes. This buckle is evidence that Beano Town was once home to a warrior tribe. Ancient heroes. Did someone say hero? The name's Montana Smith. I believe you're expecting me. Oh, Professor Smith! It's such an honour to meet you. I've read all your books. Ah, pleasure. Always glad to meet a lover of archaeology. Now, stand back, Walter. Uh, Professor Smith here is on, uh, he's on p police business. He's uh, helping track down the ancient scroll that was stolen from Beano Town Museum last week. Oh, I never realised archaeologists could be so handsome and rugged. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, come along, children. Uh, let's see what interesting artefacts we can find. More buckles? I don't think so. I bet we could find some real warrior tribe stuff. Come on! Nash! Wow! Looks like Nash is onto something. <laughs> Hang on, Nasher. We're not looking for bones. <laughs> And that's all there is to know about trowels, spades, and digging implements. Uh, terribly sorry about that. Um, uh, I seem to have lost Montana Smith. Um, did he come this way? <laughs> Nasha, stop! Wait, wait, wait! Oh, I see. What, what is going on? Come back here with that bone! Oh, leave this to me. I have a great deal of experience with this kind of thing. I've got to see this. It'll serve him right, running riot over such a sensitive site of historical importance. Can't you make him let go, then? I'm trying, but it's been a while since breakfast. Dennis! Uh-oh, we're in trouble now. Oh, come on, Nasha, let go. We've got to get out of here. We've given them the slip. Check this out. I knew it. It's not Walter. It's me. I'm descended from the ancient warrior tribe. Mmm. An ancient warrior pie. Oh, Mrs. Creature, I found them. <laughs> How do you boys find me? Uh, I mean, uh, get down here. It's not safe. I don't get it. What's he doing down here? He must have known about the trap door. Tim, look. The scroll from the museum. You stole it. You got it, kid. I knew about the trap door, all right. The scroll led me right to the pie button. You're not an archaeologist at all. 
Why'd you steal it? The treasure of the lost tribe. <laughs> it's gonna make me rich. Oh, a word of advice. Don't try to follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Treasure of the Lost Tribe. What's with the weird moves? Come on, we've got to stop him. We got to defend my ancestors' treasure. I just can't believe it, Professor Smith. I, I don't understand. I thought you. <laughs> 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 Must be hundreds of years old. God, no wonder they whiff. That's why Smith was doing those strange moves. That scroll tells him where the booby traps are, too. <laughs> no time to hang around, Walter. If we follow Smith, He'll lead us to the treasure of the lost tribe. Just get me down! Don't worry, that rope's so old it'll break any... Ah! Moment! <sighs> Leave me alone. I'm fine. I'm just a bit dizzy, that's all. Ah! Uh, Thousand-year-old guns! <gasps> Jump for it! Treasure of the Lost Tribe. And that's gotta be King Dennis. Hey, you leave my ancestor stuff alone. Sorry, Sonny. I'm here for the treasure, and I'm not gonna let a bunch of meddling kids stop me. Take that! <laughs> oh, 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 you little one. Okay, boys, the game's over. Here, Walter, you got any of those lemon drops left? Yes. Why? Just give them to me. <laughs> Told you they were fierce. Oh, no, 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 no sign of them. Oh, but don't worry, I'll, uh, I'll track them down. <laughs> Dennis and his friends are always off somewhere getting up to mischief, but it's most unusual for Walter to disappear. Oh, I do hope he's all right. Hang on. I recognise this. So do I. It's awful, isn't it? Dennis, a descendant from a warrior tribe! It's part of the treasure of the lost tribe. Where did you find it? There's a cave full of the stuff, and he was going to run off with it. It was Montana who stole the ancient scroll from the museum. He was using it to find the treasure. No, not Montana Smith. I say you're an absolute disgrace. The whole profession of archaeology is embarrassed. There's a turn up for the books. Oh, uh, right. Well, I had, uh, I'd better take you down the station, um, Montana. Well done, Dennis. That'll teach you to mess with the warrior tribes of Dennis. <laughs> I'm 
telling you, it's the answer to all our treehouse security problems. Forget the stink bomb minefield, forget the laser guided jelly flinger. This is the simple, practical solution. Okay, so where exactly do we get a shark for this shark infested moat? Yeah, only sharks I ever seen have been in pies. <laughs> Relax, boys. We don't need a real shark. Just this. The XJ3000 Remote Controlled Robo Security Shark. Scary or what? <gasps> Not half as scary as the price. Not a problem. It's me birthday next week. All me relatives can chip in and get me it, right? <laughs> Security Shark, eh? Nice. I'll ring all the relatives, get them over here and let them know. Great. Half an hour and the house will be swarming with rich and generous aunties and uncles. So what do you say? Does our boy get the birthday goods or what? Got to say, Nasha, I was hoping for a better turnout than this. Where's the other 19? Come on. One little security shark. Not much to ask for, is it, Auntie Beryl? Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but year after year, we give that lad presents and not once has he ever said thank you. Well, he's got a busy schedule, hasn't he? Whoopee cushions don't inflate themselves, you know. <laughs> no, Dennis needs to be taught a lesson. So this year, for his birthday, we've all decided to get him nothing. Just say thanks now. That wouldn't cut it. I need to make a big impression and fast. What about writing a load of belated thank you letters? Mmm, letters. Yeah! <laughs> They'd never expect that. It's a lot of letters, though. 23 relatives times 9 years times 2 again for Christmas and birthdays equals. equals writer's cramp. As soon as the old relations get these, Dennis will be their favourite is lovable lad again. <laughs> Hello, Beano Town Police Station. <laughs> what? Yes. Oh, right away, ma'am. <laughs> Hello, Beano. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing with those? Well, you did right not to open them, ma'am. Letters from Dennis. Who knows what's in them? Stink bombs, itching powder, live beetles. What? No! Don't worry. They'll be safely destroyed, along with the rest. But Auntie Beryl, they were just... <laughs> Oh, Dennis, I've got to get hold of those letters and show everyone the truth. OK, Nasha, looks like we'll have to think of some other way to say thank you. Use this road, see? One big thank you sign here, and everybody likes Dennis again. Um, Dennis, your Auntie Beryl, does she ride a bike? Mm, yeah, why? <laughs> um, oh, hello, Auntie. <laughs> uh, you're right up there, Auntie Beryl. <sighs> Present I ever gave him. Taking them all back, I am. Back, I say. <laughs> all personnel clear blast zone. Uh, uh, explosion in T minus 10 seconds. <laughs> I've never done a controlled explosion before, Sarge. Hang on. You're the officer in charge. Shouldn't you be doing the big red plunder thingy? Eh? Um. Oh, yes. Oh, I suppose I should. Ah, but didn't he say you could do the big red plunger thingy? Yes, he did. Face fair, Sarge. Oi! Give us that back. No, you promised. 
Constable Cothdrop. I would step away from the big red plunger thingy. Skywriting? Type plane plus joke smoke canister for Mr. Ha Ha's equals a great big thank you in the sky. That's got to impress him. Oh, I've had as much experience with big red plunger thingies as you. Oh, I'm the senior officer, and that's that. Five, four. OK, here goes. One. What? Uh -oh! All right, why on earth have you called us all back here? It's about these. Oh! Have you taken leave of your senses? Those letters will be booby trapped. Rubbish. They're just thank you letters. Look, I'll open one. <laughs> <laughs> I told you they'd be booby trapped. So, what's that meant to say then? Lumagusluganag? I don't guess it. I'm the one that's going to get it in about five minutes. Dennis! Make that three. Ideas, boys! And quick! How else could you write thank you in big gigantic letters no one can miss? Blimey! Better go see what's up. Look after my white line painting machine for me, would you, lads? One huge thank you right across that hillside. That ought to... Dennis! OK, lads, you're on your own. Don't let me down. Think Mum would like a little word. Uh, smoke? There's been smoke, has there? Yes, there's been smoke from your booby-trapped letters. What? No! They would! So now we're taking everything back. And we mean everything. Great. All I wanted to do was say thanks. Do they really think I'm that horrible? Me, Dennis, the little lad. Chin up, Dennis. Grand's here. <laughs> last letter wasn't booby-trapped. There was a smoke canister on this, um, which we know absolutely nothing about. <laughs> oh. I am not opening that letter. Mm, you may cabbage. Open the letter or I lock the doors and give B the cabbage. Why didn't you just say they were thank you letters? <laughs> oh, I always said he was a good boy. Maybe now we can discuss what you'd like for your birthday. Yes! Result! Just as long as nothing else gets destroyed or defaced. Oops. Here goes then! <laughs> no! Sod! Oh, aunties! Oh! Thank you! You're right, mate. Forget the white line thing! I... Ah! <laughs> Where's the steering wheel? Where's the brakes? Where's my mum? Oh, Hole. Hmm, that could have gone better. Five miles of paint to clean and no birthday <gasps> presents. Think again, Dennis. Guess what super brilliant grand went and got you? That shark you wanted. Got it from this bloke down at the pub, see? Anyway, I had to stick the thing in the bath. Good idea. Check it all works. Nice relaxing bath. That's what I need after a day like today. Well, it won't be long. So, have you got the shark's remote control there, Gran? Eh? Since when did a shark need a remote control? Um, Gran, you do know it's not a real shark I wanted. Eh? Oh! Ah, Dennis! Oh, my word! 